this wants to work, and it does, so we're not doing the hangout thing. Okay, so, um, before I go on with uh, the next pay-per-view, which is Battleground, I do want to say that this week, um, as of last Monday night, the Living Network, again, has a free trial, or what they're calling a free preview, which is, again, a free trial. So, what we have here is something interesting. They actually have a, a, a article on this, and uh, you can probably go to it by clicking this thing. Uh, it doesn't show up, it'll just, yes, refresh the page, like I have. Oh, it's, you can also uh, click the wrong button. There is one to learn more and one to actually apply for the preview. Uh, but let me just see here. Like, uh, last Monday night they had the beginning of the Monday Night Wars documentary. It looks amazing from what I have seen. I don't have the network personally, but from what I have seen, it looks amazing. Um, but uh, I'll actually put the link of the article in the description of the video. For the end, I'll probably remove it by the end of the, of the thing because the preview won't work after a week. Uh, but like, uh, like we said, you know, Total Divas tonight, NXT is tomorrow. NXT alone is worth it. Uh, last night we had a great main event card. Uh, with well, the United States Championship was on the line as well as another match I can't think of off the top of my head, which I apologize for. I believe it was some kind of great match. I was I was excited for. I don't remember what what it was, but um. Um, yeah, so told you was I don't know why but they are doing the uh, they're, they're pretty much archiving the seasons. Uh, I don't know if that's because season three might be a network network exclusive or it's still in the E network. I do not know this. So this is a speculation. But uh, NXT, I mean NXT is uh, tomorrow. Uh, they have a little preview. Of the, uh, they actually have a preview of the card as well. So Bailey would battle Sunday Ray. And Sami Zayn and NXT Champion Adrian Neville would take on the team of Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel. Uh, that team hasn't been around in a while, so that would be interesting for uh, T Kidd and J Gabe, as I like to call them, or for short. But that'd be interesting for them to be a, a tag team combination, especially on NXT, where it honestly is better, better than Raw or SmackDown on a personal note. Uh, same was when they had FCW. And of course, uh, this is all tonight, actually. The Total Diva, the, the, I, they'll keep updating this, I assume, to where they are able to uh, just show you a preview of the big, the big three things going on there. But with that being said, let's stop talking about the network and go to Battleground. If it will let us, there we go. And with Battleground, uh, like I said last time, you know, they, they would be, ever since WrestleMania, they've had this format of every page. Uh, here's your matches. Here's how to get your tickets. Watch by your country, and of course, order now on the network. So let's we'll go to the matches. And there's a few changes in this card. Now, the only notable changes are additions to the Battle Royal. Now the Battle, we'll go to that uh, soon enough, but. We have a match I have uh, I didn't expect a match I'm actually excited for. Chris Jericho returns to Raw last week, actually two weeks ago, when we saw the return of the Miz, which I was surprised he was actually I I didn't expect him. I was expecting Jericho or somebody, or even, I was I was personally expecting Brock Lesnar to return, but we got Jericho, which was a complete shock. And what's a bigger shock is we have a opponent, a feud that is brand new off of John Cena thing, Bray Wyatt versus Chris Jericho. Honestly, I, I think this will go towards SummerSlam, so I believe Bray will get the win, just so Jericho can have his moment at SummerSlam. Or it might go the other way around, maybe Jericho loses here. And Bray wins at SummerSlam, and they have a rubber match somewhere down the road, which, uh, look at the pay-per-views real quick. So if, if, uh, I'm trying, I'm actually trying to think here for once. If Wyatt won at Battleground, then Jericho would have to win at SummerSlam, and the Blah would be Night of Champions or Hell in a Cell, Survivor Series, something like that. Keep the few go as a best of five. But if it's not, if it's just a, 
uh, two match feud and Jericho leaves to tour Fozzie again. Uh, it makes sense that Jericho lost at Battleground or at SummerSlam. So my, there's not really a prediction for this because uh, with Jericho, he's really a lot, mostly putting a lot of young talent all over, such as Fondango and Dolph Ziggler. So I wouldn't be surprised if Jericho lost both pay-per-view matches. But I, I expect this to go at least toward, uh, until Night of Champions or Survivor, Survivor Series at least. So then he'll start feuding again or, or start working again with Fozzie. Um, the, uh, the main change though is the Battleground Battle Royal. Last time we talked about, I think there are only four men in the Battle Royal. But I'll go through them all again just for the hell of it. Uh, first off, we had the uh, additions to the Battle Royal. Uh, we had Sheamus, um, Ziggler. Kali, Kofi, and I believe Ziggler uh, and Sheamus, I think. Additions of the Battle Royal. No, 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 it was Sandow who was in. So I'll just go for them all again. Uh, Sheamus, United States Champion, still United States Champion at their main event. Um, the uh, inspirational prophet known as Bo Dallas, Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Kofi Kingston, Great Kali, Rob Van Dam, um, I guess he's uh, Damian Sandhart now, or the heart, or the San Heartbreak Kid, or whatever the fuck he was on main event. Uh, Damian Dano, Everett Del Rio, Fandango, uh, Ryback, Michael McGuckuddy, and Big E Langston. All for the vacated Intercontinental Championship, which the legend, the man, the myth, the legend known as Vacant, will bet. But what we have here is, I'm just going to go from all very quickly, because a battle royal is very hard to predict, honestly, unless you have a clear favorite in this, and there are a few here in this in this current field. There might be more added to during SmackDown or something. We'll just go left to right here, top to bottom. Rob Van Dam, he would be great to have him as an Intercontinental Champion. He would legitimize the championship. He might be the final in the Final Four. I don't know if he'll, if he'll win, though. Sandow will be the first eliminated, no doubt. And he'll have some gimmick, and we will not care. Alberto Del Rio, uh, put, uh, pretty much a space filler in this match. He'll probably be the first to go, if not possibly in the final eight or four. Fandango would be great to have him as an Intercontinental Champion. Fandango would be an amazing Intercontinental Champion, and honestly, I wouldn't uh, blame them if they just put the bell on him. Ryback and Axel. Probably the first few to go in the Battle Royal. Uh, although Ryback would be a powerhouse, is a powerhouse, it'd be dominant Intercontinental Champion to uh, re re revitalize his career. Then goes for Axel. He was Intercontinental Champion before with Paul Heyman, so Axel would be a great Intercontinental Champion to have, like father, like son. But Biggie Langston is a former Intercontinental Champion, losing at the Bad News Barrett, who was injured, just vacating the title. Um. I wouldn't mind have, have seeing him have another run. He was dominant as uh, an Intercontinental Champion. Love to have him have the ball again. Dolph Ziggler, this is a must win for him. He wins this match and he becomes possibly back on the mid card, maybe up and mid card, probably being on that road to becoming a world champion again. So, uh, Ziggler, possibly top four, if not the winner. Zaro, I would love him being Intercontinental Champion. Intercontinental Champion Cesaro has a good ring to it, but there is a possibility if he was to win this title, he might change it to the European Championship. Always a possibility. Um, Bo Dallas, he's undefeated streak technically. He is 13 and Bo. Last time I checked, 13 or 14 and Bo. Um, but you just have to believe on this one. He might win. He might be the he's the, he's the dark horse of this match for sure. Um, Sheamus ha already has gold. Wouldn't mind seeing him win the title and unifying them, but that's only if he holds the title uh, until Battleground. So it, that's a possibility. If not, maybe he loses the belt and then gains the Intercontinental the title. It's possible. Kobe Kingston, the, the domestic and a dog, the king of the mid-card, and the app darling winning a match on the WWE app last week. Kobe needs this match to make himself credible and so I don't keep calling him these names and keeping him as a jobber to the stars, but I doubt he'll win. Um, Kali, just based on size, he's the favorite, but I doubt it. 
So with that being said, this we actually got over 10 minutes for once. So that's that's good to see that YouTube is is working to that point. I thought it would be I'd have to go on a I would have to go on a fucking Google Plus or whatever. But yeah, cut with uh, like that being said, Kali is the big favorite, no pun intended, which is with his size, but he basically eliminate the big man, and that will happen in this card. I wouldn't, it'd be interesting to be him being Intercontinental Champion, but I doubt it will happen. And with that, Battleground is, I believe, the 26th of July, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think that's what it is. It's, it's 10 days away, so it doesn't really matter. So Battleground is 10 days away, but we'll see who does break through from the background, Battleground, Battle Royal.